Welcome to our sword spinning tutorial on basic wheels, weaves, figure eights. What's up Flomies and Jedi Padawans? Welcome to the Sacred Flow Art Channel. I'm Jesse Hart of Full Circle Phenomenal. Continuing on our sword series, we're going to focus on some basic movements that you'll need to know with the sword. Remember that we are expressing the sword as an extension of ourselves a performance tool rather than a weapon. So don't want you to be swinging it really, really hard because we don't move our arms really, really hard in order to just get the basic results done. We're going to learn about the weight and the flow of the prop just as much as the move itself. So without further ado, let's get started. All right, we're going to begin by putting the sword away and starting with a warm up as it's always important to loosen up your breath and body. So we're gonna interlace the fingers and just trace the infinity loops or the figure eights with the wrists and really get in to the breath and the wrists at the same time, breathing deeply in through your nose and out through your lips. Then reverse it, retrace back in the pinky direction. And this might be a little bit challenging for you if you're new to flow arts, but just do the best you can, go slow, you can go small loops or big loops, whatever works. Then release and gently shake out the hands side to side and up and down. Then with thumbs over closed fists, reach the arms forwards and let's rotate around the elbow joints. Inhale through your nose, bring the arms open, exhale and bring the hands together and back into the chest, keeping the elbows in the same spot. Then reverse, still inhale open, exhale close. Lubricate those elbow joints, bring your full focus on them. Good, now let's open up the shoulder. So rotating one arm in big circles, inhaling up, exhaling down. Or perhaps inhaling for a circle, exhale for a circle. Then reverse, opposite direction. It's really important that we get in touch with our breath and body in motion because it keeps your body without stress, uh, without tension, and uh, this is what's going to decrease your injury potential a lot, as well as help you with your learning curve. This is it's going to help you to focus. So get the other arm going, both directions, breathing with the motion. Good. Then just bounce the shoulders out and let's flop the arms gently from side to side, getting a twist in the spine, looking over one shoulder to looking over the other shoulder and then shake it out once again. Let's shake out the whole body and pick the sword back up. Now the first thing that you wanna do is just test your range of motion with the sword. Notice how the sword feels in your hand and think about it as an extension of your arm. Now your muscles are gonna be engaging a little bit more as we begin to trace figure eights doing a wheel forwards and down to either side of the body. We might call this with other props, just the basic weave. And pick a cross point out in front of you and see if you can hit that cross point going over and going back, doing large figure eights to small figure eights with just the wrist. Then reversing. This might be where it gets a little bit trickier for you as not all of us have this motor skill developed yet. So reverse those figure eights starting with just small, gentle, loose motions with the wrist, and then practicing using more and more of the arm until your arm's extended, rotating in one big circle to one side of the body to one big circle on the opposite side of the body. Still paying attention to your breath and the shift in weight as your arm moves from one side to the other. Now we're focusing on full mastery here, so we're gonna practice with both arms. So even if your left arm isn't as good as your right arm, put it in your left hand and let's begin doing the forwards rotation, the downwards weave, and then smaller and smaller, rotating around the wrists, and then reverse. Trace back your steps and go from one side of the body to the opposite side of the body. An upwards swing with the sword, breathing, Noticing how your whole body moves with it. It's not just your arm or your wrist. Notice how my whole body shifts 
from side to side as this is what happens when you treat it as an extension of yourself. All right, so once you've got it out in front of your body, well practiced, let's go to the side of the body, going to the front and the back. Small to big circles. Noticing the difference and just beginning to absorb that muscle memory. Then reverse it. Notice how I'm almost bouncing with the sword, letting my body flow low to high, low to high. And then as I get smaller and smaller, that movement refines itself. Switching hands. Forwards weave, or the down wheel, figure eights. And yeah, notice what, what you do with the other parts of your body. Because it's not just important where the sword's at, it's as important as where your body is at as well and your breath. It's actually a lot. This might be a simple move, just beginning, but it's very, very important that we begin to master these fundamentals and keep practicing them as you will find more and more that this is going to be completely interconnected with all of your sword flow. The way that you do your basic easy moves is going to stem out into how you do your more complex and advanced moves. So go small to big experiment Maybe you make a very tall figure eight or a very short and thin one. Are you hitting cross points? Are you focusing on an object out in front of you and looking to see the sword move across that cross point in both directions? Now let's begin to switch sides. Notice how I went from a reverse to a forwards on the other side and then continued on my 360 degree back to the reverse. Then switching hands, doing the same exercise. Reverse figure eights, moving slowly across the body into forward figure eights on the opposite side. Maybe you try it with both hands. If your sword is capable of doing it with both hands, practice doing it with both. Notice what it's like to switch direction using both hands. And use me as a guide if you're having some trouble Keep visualizing. See yourself as doing what I'm doing. Picture yourself doing it. And then practice like that. This is going to help you more than anything as half of our flow arts is done through mental visualization. The other half, actual physical practice. Thank you for watching today and for trusting me as your teacher. Please be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. We'll be bringing you two new tutorials every single week here on the Sacred Flow Art Channel from all around the world. If you need any props or anything flow arts related, go to sacredflowart.com forward slash shop and get what you need there. We also appreciate very much if you'd support this journey by searching Unite the World firsthand and becoming a patron for all things yoga, wellness consulting, as well as more flow arts fire spinning, go to fullcirclephenomenal.com or check out my YouTube link in the video description.